sequel, I guess, to my Airliners International video, and I'm just gonna be kind of, um, doing an overview of what all I got. So, I mean, I've got a lot to go through, so I'll just go ahead and hop in. So, first things first, we have, um, good old United Airlines wings. This was free, as well as this one. And then I got Delta, junior pilot, or junior uh, captain, and um, this was not free, but it's very cool, and um, yeah. So, let's go digging. Oh, found a little something. So, I got the Delta route maps, and this is, I, I do not know what year this would be, but it's definitely older. Ooh, jeez, yeah, um, the hit is, oh my gosh, it is a, um, massive map. So, we, this is, like, the Caribbean, Florida, all that. And, oh. Um. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, um, interesting to a uh, fold them um, yeah i mean it's very cool and here's the like an overview of the u.s so it's interesting um it's a little, little damaged but other than that in very nice condition so uh, so yeah Then this was um free. They were just here. I'll raise this up a little bit, um, so you all can see. But this was just a little freebie. Um, all there was like a pile of pictures. And they were all just free. So got this one, and this is dated May 1966, and this is a DC-7, and. Um, airliners.net so yeah then here's my first little actual kind of like plane thingy my bobber it is um a plane kit for eight bucks and um yeah it's looks very cool um i thought it would be bigger but that's I like that it's smaller, so it doesn't take up, like, just a ton of space. We have the, um, I believe these are, yeah, stickers. It's kind of hard to, um, see, but, yeah, so that's, this is kind of cool. This was a, um, discounted price, I believe. But, uh, yeah, and next up, and personally one of my favorite models, and we'll kind of like zoom out for this one, I don't really know how to <laughs> all that well, but um, it's the Northern Pacific, oh, can I see that, 757, and um, yeah, it's... It's quite the um, interesting little little bird. If I can figure out, if I could figure out my life, um, I could. There we go, like, like that, and then no, it's way too. So um, yeah, that so uh, we have um, some fifty-seven, and I have not unboxed it yet. So, um, do that now. Ooh. See you in a minute. Looks very nice. So, yeah, I'll pull the lid off. Handle with here. So, so I love the little thing that 
for general admission, I'll rip that off of because it's getting kind of annoying, but. Okay, okay no, we're. Okay, yeah, no, this is not gonna work. I'm... Ooh, it's so oily. I know this is not my hands, so it's very, very oily. And this was for about 30 bucks. This looks really nice. But I've, I personally really like the um, New Pacific. It's no longer Northern Pacific delivery, so. Um, it's pretty cool. And, um, I do really hope they succeed, however, I've heard quite mixed things about them, so. Um, Yeah. So, we'll just set that over there and get these. So, um, got a little, um, friendly competition. It was, um, if you could name the airline, which is on the back, you could keep the cards. So, of course, Air Canada, United, Singapore, um, Ava. Which, there's the back, of which it looks really cool. Tap, Cathay Pacific, Latam, Alaska, UPS, and Atlas. Shows were, um, very cool. To, um, get, well, so the, here I'll put the, um, in Pacific and then back in the box. Put the, um, New Pacific, I do not... I believe I've heard of the, um, brand who made it. I don't know, it's not, not Gemini, so. Now, um, oh, kind of forgot about that, that's for, in a minute, so. Got this, now, um, Ertl, as some of you may or may not know, it actually, um, kind of, is more into um, farming stuff. However, back in the day, they did make aircraft models. So I'll unbox this. And it comes off kind of easy, actually. Surprisingly easy. Though, of course, um, and it's got retractable landing gear. So that was kind of, when I saw the Erdl, of course I had to get it, because, um, you know, if you live on a farm in America, you grow up with Erdl. So here it is. And I... There we go. So... This is interesting. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, this is very interesting. I'm gonna let me put the um, back. A little stiff, but oh, pop into place, and um, you have a um, a little model. Set it down. Very, very nice looking. So this is. It's very interesting, um, and I also was tempted to, um, that's the wrong way, um, no, that is the right way, <laughs> I was tempted to get a Shabak model kit from, it was from the same vendor, but not, and I believe they had the, um, L1011, it was, like, a set, and they had, like, the L1011, 727, stuff like that. Now, of course, I had to get some Herba, because, you know, um, they're pretty cool. Um, of course, they're German. Um, now, I believe this was made... This was made a while ago. Um, if... I mean, I, I'm thinking right, but... Um, this was from a different vendor. 
from the um, DWA. But yeah, of course, DWA is very big in Kansas City. Um, as they were, they had their um, little base there. I'm not, I'm not like, take it out and then just have it all. That. Voila. No models were harmed in the making of this video. So, um, this is, I believe, their last livery. It's the world, of course. Um, personally, my favorite livery. But, um, if only the um, lighting in my house would be good, you, um, the livery could be given justice, but. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, oh my lord. Oh my heavens. Yeah, I'm not, um, all, and, yeah, seriously though, no models were harmed in the making of this video. Now I'm a Delta guy, um, so I had to get some Delta, which you've already seen, um, but I got, um, Delta... 767-300. Once again, I think this is an older model, of course. Um, her wings. What? Oh. My neck is on dying. So, um, yeah, but, I mean, looks really nice. Now, this is not my, um, favorite livery of Delta's. Um, this is the little, um, I don't know how to explain it, livery, but it's, Jesus, how many liveries did they have? This isn't even the mountain livery. So, um, we're not even going to try with that one. But yeah, so this is, um, seven, six or seven, um. A little plane. It's 1999 Delta Airlines. It's right there. So. <laughs> quite old. I'm probably offending people that were born in the 1600s, but. Um, no offense, guys. Y'all are not ancient. Well, you are, but I mean, like. <laughs> I'm putting it on in the wrong way. <laughs> so then, well, let's go through. We're starting to get to the end, but uh, okay. So now we have the hulking beast. So I got this. Um, some of these were gifted by a guy. Well, actually, all these were free, but some of them were gifted by a, a guy. So these top ones are all, um, as it says on the bottom, Delta. However, further you move back. So I have an Air Atlanta. Um, here I can just pull it out so y'all can see. That. This stuff I believe is also free. So I got an Air Atlanta, which is cool. I've heard of them a few times, but never like really that much. Now, um, also, here, Braniff, and of course I've heard of this one. Um, yeah. Then we have Midwest Express, which, it's quite interesting, and um, I believe these are the ones out of Appleton, because if I remember correctly, they had a hub in Milwaukee. And then we have Pan Am, and I, it would be a sin if I didn't know about Pan Am, but yeah, in the middle here, it's very interesting, they have the um, Pan Am 727 seat configuration, and the um, 747 seat configuration, as well as the A300. And by the way, let me just say, effective October 27th, 1991, they, 
I mean, this was, I mean, really, some of the last stuff for them, so, yeah, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> and, yeah, but, I mean, they're, they're interesting. So, I think we have our, um, last item before the, um, big, the grand finale, which was, um, which is interesting, so, saw this, let me take the, um, tag off here. So I saw those for sale, and I was just like, okay, it looks really good, and I do like Delta, so of course, so here's a stand, and as it says, 737-200, I got, here, we'll zoom out here, I got a, um, Delta, 737-200, lighting is not the best, but, um, it's what worked for me, and on the, um, on the stand, it looks really nice. Um, you guys can't see, but like, it's gonna go somewhere special. But it's actually very big. Looks very nice. Just a few broken stuff, but other than that, I mean, heck yeah, it's cool. So, um, I'm showing a photo on the screen, and um, if you know really anything about like aviation. You might know this guy, and, um, yeah, so, we met, we met him, this was the funniest thing ever, coming in, like, right by the ballroom, and my friend, I believe, bumped into him, and I heard him, like, talking, and I was kind of thinking in my head, is this the guy who I think it is? So, of course, Noel Phillips. So, um, we got that, and... bag tag so um pan am there you know I, I have a pan am bag tag as well i really like pan am so, uh, so i don't know if there's room for the both of them but i mean it's yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely put this one on um but yeah um very cool guy um i'll i have to say i mean wow and also um so, my friends will know this, I am very short, but, like, he on camera looks, like, I mean, he doesn't look short, but he doesn't look tall. He is so tall, like, I mean, wow, so, yeah, I mean, if you're watching this, no, Phillips. You're um, a lot taller than us little Smurfs, but, um, <laughs> yeah. So that is everything that I know of that I got, I think. Yeah, I think. Let me check the bag, just to make sure nothing popped in there. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll just put, just put a random model on the screen, so... Yeah, this was um, definitely a cool little convention. Pretty big convention, actually. Um, a lot of nice people there. Um, it was kind of funny. This guy um, from what you would call it uh, West Coast Diecast. Have the um, card here, you know. Um, he said something that's, that's kind of relatable. Um, if you're like into models and you go to one of these, you know. He was a vendor, but I mean, he was like, you know, I came here to sell, but, and I kind of didn't want to buy anything, but I ended up buying anything, buying a lot of stuff, sorry. And I, like I said, um, back, you know, it's kind of the same with me, because I gotta figure out a place for all this stuff, and it, so far I have a place for a few other things, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... If you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, this is coming out hopefully on the night of um, Friday, June 28th, so there's still one more day of Airliners International, that's Saturday, and of course this is at the Hilton Hotel at the 
KMCI International Airport in Kansas City, just north of Kansas City. So if you do live around that area, even in Wichita, or I don't know, I don't know how far Omaha is, but I mean, seriously, come, da come down or come up or, yeah, just come, because it's really cool, um... But, I mean, there were, there were a lot of nice vendors, and it's not like they're overpricing stuff to the point of just, I mean, like, pure insanity. And they're not overpricing stuff, and you don't have to pay for shipping or taxes. So, yeah, um, but, well, I, I don't think taxes. Probably not. But, yeah, so, thanks for watching. There's one more day left, so go there if you think you really want to go. Well, because it's not going to be in Kansas City for a while. Next year it's in Atlanta. But until next time, see ya!